What's up guys, Katie Kleber with Fresh RN and we're gonna talk about how you should talk to your nurse manager. A lot of people who go into nursing, when they come out of nursing school, this is their first professional job. And nursing is very unique because at the bedside, we're involved in some pretty dicey situations. Um, we're taking care of patients during their worst times. Things get a little spicy, shall I say. And the, the line between like professionalism can get really blurred when you do some of the things that we're doing or see some of the absurdities <laughs> that we see. But I want to discuss how to actually talk to your nurse manager because it's a really important to maintain that professionalism and I think it can easily get lost. So also, you know, you're also on that nursing unit where you have all these people that you're working with and sometimes personalities can really clash. Sometimes the culture can get pretty intense and there can be a lot of drama. And I have observed over the years that people can look at that nurse manager as that person they can vent to and complain to about someone acting crazy. Really want to discourage that. That nurse manager is your, like, professional boss and if we are having issues with people on the unit that is not the person to vent to now if you need actual managerial support to address some really inappropriate or some specific behavior there is an appropriate way to bring that to the attention of the manager in a way that's professional and not personal Okay, um, and that's how change happens and that's also how managers take you seriously. Okay, so number one, I don't want you to go to managers to solve problems for you that you are capable of solving yourself. So if you and a nurse have a disagreement, you don't go immediately to the manager to complain about them. As a professional adult, you gotta have a little conflict resolution situation before you involve a manager. A common, like I, actually early in my career, one time I was working and I had uh, an, uh, our, man, our, our charge nurse w observed two nurses arguing loudly with each other. This nurse pulled those other two into another room and they talked it out. They didn't need to involve the manager because that informal leader of the charge nurse was able to run some conflict resolution. That isn't something where you need to like run and grab the manager like we're professional adults we can talk about this and do a little conflict resolution because if you go to a manager the moment you have an issue the first thing they're gonna say is well what did you say to the person how did you handle this and attempt to solve this on your own and if you have to have your hand held through every conflict as a professional adult that is not very autonomous not very mature and you really want to be able to have that persona and that I uh, hey, I'm a capable, mature adult um, who is professional. That's what you want your manager to think about you, especially when you think about lobbying for a raise later on and asking for more money. Like if, if you're asking for $2 more an hour, but every time there's a problem, you're in their office crying about it or like screaming about somebody, they're gonna be less inclined to give you a raise, if that makes sense. So definitely be um, strategic with uh, interpersonal issues that you go to your manager with and try to do the best you can within your professional capabilities of resolving the issue independently. So also when you go to the nurse manager for situations, you always want to make sure that you hold yourself accountable. Hey, you know what? I did this wrong. I accept that I did X, Y, and Z, but you don't want to throw other people under the bus. That's something that really looks bad if we look to place blame on all these other people when things went wrong. Um, and even if somebody really messed up or did something really not cool, the way that you present that information to the manager, if you do so in a professional, you're not taking jabs, um, you're not talking about them in this really derogatory way, but in a professional, objective, non-assumptive way, is that a word? Assumptive? I don't know if that's a word. Non, uh, not a way where you're not assuming things about that person or their intentions. That really goes a long way in the eyes of professionalism. So that means, you know, and the, what that can turn into is if you're trying to apply for maybe a charge nurse position or kind of move up the professionalism ladder, 
Those are, if you can handle those situations with tact, poise, and grace, th those managers are really going to appreciate that. They really like it when they don't have to do hand holding. They don't have to constantly like play referee between people who don't like each other and can trust you to be as professional and mature when you navigate these situations as possible. So even if your boss is really kind and they make you feel really comfortable, it's, they're not your, they're your best friends. Okay, like you have friends. These are, this is not the role that they are to play. They, they sit in, they're part of your professional performance reviews. They're the people who are gonna recommend you for, you know, if you wanna transfer or if you want more money. Like we can't be unhinged or uncensored with this individual in our life, no matter how kind they are. Um, need to maintain that degree of like poise and discernment with what we share. We don't want to just share every little thing about our life and every little issue we have with people, but communicate things with tact, be intentional, consider like, okay, this is my manager. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about, you know, how this nurse slept with this doctor on this unit and this and this. Like that's not who you want to bring that stuff up to. Um, you can talk to people at home about that, but then that persona that you're going to get with that manager, even if they're really kind and really nice, is that you're a gossip. Like, you don't want that from the person who's doing your performance reviews. So I'm saying this because it's very easy to fall into that uh, way too comfortable aspect of dealing with a manager. So really maintain that professionalism. And also, when you have tough questions for them, which you may, hey, why are we doing this? I don't understand why I can't have this vacation or whatever. You want to be kind and assertive. You don't want to be passive and you don't want to be aggressive. You want to be assertive. You don't want to assume the worst in them and you want to communicate it in a really professional, um, professional way. Hey, help me understand why I wasn't able to um, have that vacation approved. Um, I know I put it in by the certain amount, by the certain date. Um, I followed the policy, and I'm, I have a certain thing booked. Um, can you help me understand why that was not approved? Instead of why didn't I get my vacation approved? I can't believe you did this. Or the passive response of like completely checking out and assuming like, you know, not even asking them about it. So. Um, you can ask them questions, absolutely. Um, I think that's important to be in, in a mutually beneficial business partnership because that's what it is with your manager. Remember that. This is a business partnership. They are, you are the employee. They're providing you with compensation. Business relationship. So always keep that in mind when you're dealing uh, with your manager and um, navigating those challenging situations. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you uh, would like to get some emails from me weekly, go ahead and sign up um, through the link in the description. Thanks guys, stay fresh.